everybody. Happy Sunday. I hope you all are just hanging out and chilling with your families today. Let's do some makeup. And today we're going to talk about how to extend your products further, how to get the most bang for your buck, how to use multiple products for one thing, okay? Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Cassie Rasley. And if you do not see the red live button up top, that means it's pre-recorded and um, you're watching the replay. So if that's the case, hashtag replay, but still leave your comments down in this comment section because I love to come back and reread them. If you're watching live, say hey and tell me where you're watching from, okay? The first thing um, we need to do is prime. Prime, prime, prime. Make sure you're always priming, okay? Um, before you do all of this, also make sure you, you do your skincare because your skincare is super, super important. So make sure you're washing your face and moisturizing your face, okay? I'm just going to use a little bit of the primer and I'm going to push it into my skin. Hi, Lindsay! Okay, and this is going to act as a barrier for your makeup so it's not sitting inside those pores. It's going to help your makeup stay on all day. It's going to help your makeup look more vibrant. It's going to help minimize your pores and wrinkles. Make sure you prime. Super important to prime. Okay. And then we're going to let that sit in for a minute because you always want to make sure you let your primer sit for two or three minutes. So while we do that, I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to use eyeshadow to do my eyebrows. This is our splurge cream shadow. And so it's a cream to powder and it's in the color Faithful. And I thought this would look really pretty for um, eyebrows, okay? So I'm not gonna use the regular eyebrow pencil or eyebrow um, palette. I'm gonna use eyeshadow. Um, you can also use like powder eyeshadow for your eyebrows. I'm gonna use it on our, let's see, this is our brow artist brush. What's nice about it is it's got a flat end and a curved end. Okay, and I'm just going to take a little bit on this end. Oops. It's very pigmented. And I am just going to sweep that through my brows. I'm going to need to clean that up. <laughs> Okay, that's the perfect, actually, color for my eyebrows. And what's nice about this is it's going to stay on all day. I won't have to worry about it slipping around or coming off. Hello from Ohio. Hi, Jessica. Welcome. So my eyebrows are naturally super, super blonde. And is what I do, I hate to have to be able to, to do my eyebrows every single day. And so I, um, I dye them. I dye my eyebrows from a dye that I got off of Amazon, you guys. And it saves my life because it makes filling them in super easy. And it makes it so if I have to run out of the house without doing my makeup, at least my eyebrows are somewhat done. I used to have like absolutely no eyebrows. Like they were blonde and I didn't fill them in. And I never realized until I started doing my eyebrows how important they are to shape your face. Do you girls struggle to do your eyebrows? They are, they're like an art, it's almost, because they are so difficult to get right. And so I like to just fill it in a little bit up here so it's not super, so it looks more natural. <laughs> Is it Latricia? Is that how you say your name? 
Yeah, it's like I have better days than others as well. Okay. I am struggling today. Tell me where everybody's from. Tell me where you guys are watching from. And what's the weather like? I am here in Utah and I will tell you guys, it is so nice and warm. It's like spring here. Okay, that works for now. We'll go back and finish them in a minute. Clean them up. Oh man, this eyebrow really is giving me some trouble. It's freezing, 25 degrees. South, Southern Indiana. Lots of snow and ice and more on the way, wow. We have no snow here, you guys. Okay, let's just move on for now. So we're gonna go to our, let's highlight underneath our eyes. So I'm gonna use, I know a lot of times that you'll see girls, hi mom, um, do their foundation and then highlight, but I don't like to put too much product underneath my eyes because it starts to look cakey. So. I like to do my um, highlighting under my eyes first. And because my skin is so dry, I'm gonna take this um, Beauty Uplift Serum and it's just like a moisturizing oil. Um, and I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath my eyes, right where I'm gonna put that concealer. Okay, and then I'm gonna take our concealer and I'm gonna mix it with eye primer. I'm gonna mix it with our eye primer. And this just gives it enough something so that it doesn't look caked and it doesn't crease underneath my eyes. So that's the eye primer. right there and you can tell it's kind of the same color as the concealer i'm just going to mix that together and then kind of plop that under my eyes in a v-shape also put it on my nose and on the chin and i'll cover up that blemish too a little bit hang on guys let me grab this Okay, and then I'm gonna also, I have a wet beauty blender right here, but I'm gonna also wet it with a little bit of setting spray. I feel like this just kinda helps further meld it into your skin and helps it stay longer. And I'm just gonna press that all in. <laughs> Thanks, Cassandra. I tried to find like the happy medium between not too girly and not too manly to please both of us. I think I got it off Amazon. I did. I do all my shopping on Amazon. In fact, I do their subscribe and save. And so like I get all of our toilet paper and um, paper towels and diapers. They all come once a month from Amazon and like it's about time for it all to come and I'm telling you we are running so low. Like even like our dishwasher detergent comes from Amazon. Subscribe and save because I get 
an extra 20% off of everything on top of like the deals that they have going throughout the month. So you can find stuff for a really good price. But the problem is, is if you run out early, so like we had to go get diapers for my oldest because we ran out and I hate paying full price for diapers. Okay, so now that that's all blended in, we'll do this, um, our liquid touch foundation. Make sure you shake it up real well and squeeze out the dropper because it's oil based and you wanna make sure it's all shake, shooken up. I use the color Velour. Okay, and then I'm gonna use our um, powder concealer brush, which is double-ended, and I'm just gonna lightly brush that in. Um, the one thing about this brush, a trick to using it, is a super, super light hand, like barely touching your skin, will make it, give it like the best finish. It almost gives it like an airbrushed look finish. And then I'm gonna just kinda stipple it over that blemish right there and that will help to hide it better. What are you guys all out doing today? I'm gonna go to my mom's for dinner after this. That's my favorite thing to do on Sundays is go to my parents' house for dinner. So, um, Cassandra, I tried, before I tried Velour, I tried um, Organza and Scarlet. And while I did like them both, because I am cool toned, so I have the pink tint to my um, skin, my neck has no pink in it. And so when I put on the velour, so any, so when I put on the scarlet and the organza, it was always a different color from my neck. And so when I tried the velour, I was much happier because it um, it matched my neck better. So try matching it to your neck. Um, I also like to use Scarlet to highlight underneath my eyes. If I'm not using a, um, a concealer to highlight under my eyes or if I'm just quickly trying to get out the door, I like to use the, the lighter color underneath my eyes. Okay, I need to take just a little bit more and get my neck area. Okay. Okay, and then we wanna set that so it stays and it doesn't slide around all day. So I'm gonna use our Touch Behold setting powder, or our, yeah, our Touch Behold setting powder, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go in with a really light hand because too much will make me look dry and cakey because I kinda have dry skin. So I'm gonna be really careful with how much I use. but I do need to get it around my nose. That's a, that's a spot that I need to make sure I always set. And then I'm not gonna do underneath my eyes because I have this 
other setting powder that has a yellow tint to it that I love to put underneath my eyes because it helps to further highlight. And I'm, again, I'm just going to use a little bit, but it helps to set that and then it helps to highlight. So you're, you're getting two, two uses out of that product because it's setting your concealer and it's helping to further highlight. This is our mineral concealer powder. Okay. So. Um, to contour with, um, I would usually go in with like a darker color foundation or our contour um, trio palette, but I'm going to show you guys how you can contour with your bronzer. Um, you can only do this if you have a bronzer that's not too um, shimmery. If you have a shimmery bronzer, it won't look very good, but what's nice about our bronzers is they're not too shimmery and they have a matte side and a shimmer side, okay? Um, I go in with two colors because the sunset is too light for me and the, the um, Hermosa is too dark. So I'm going to mix, mix both of these. But I will show you how you can contour. You're going to do the same thing basically as you would with your contour. And try to even stick more so with the matte side of this. Okay, and then also take it above your forehead. Hey to the girls that are just hopping on. Say hey and tell me where you're watching from. I love to um, meet any new viewers or even old ones. Say hey. Okay, so see how that... So when you contour, you don't want to take it too far down or it tends to look muddy. So I like to keep it um, to like the end of my eye. And how high up you want your contour is completely up to you. Um, I, if I were to do a sucky face in like this, it would be a little bit lower, but I have been kind of liking my contour to go up a little bit higher. Hello from Missouri. I have family that lives in Missouri, Hallie. Okay, so now that we've contoured, you already have, um, and see the, bl the brush that I use? It's kind of just a small powder brush. Um, you can st so you can skip the step if you're in a hurry to um, bronze, or I'm still using the same thing to bronze with, but I'm just gonna put it, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be so in, a, in the precise area that the contour was. From Canada. Hi, Cassandra. What time is it in um, Canada right now? Isn't it about our same time? Okay. So see how that just kind of brought some life into my face. Hi, Christina from Virginia. It's not a very interesting state. <laughs> 453, okay. I think when people think of Utah, they think of the polygamists. 20 minutes from Niagara Falls. Oh, cool. <laughs> um, do you guys watch that show? Um, it's the polygamous show. It's on like TLC, Sister Wives. Do you guys ever watch that? They were from Utah and then they moved to um, Las Vegas. Hi. Hmm. 
take a photo. I'm going to put it on his. Okay. 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 And then another use for bronzer. Um, you can use it for your eye, like if you're in a hurry to, or even if you're not, you can use it for your eye shadow. And it's really pretty. I really like the looks of bronzer for eyeshadow. Um, and so I'm just going to take it on a fluffy brush. I don't think I put any primer on my eyes. So let me hurry and put some primer on my eyes. I meant to at the beginning, but I forgot. I was going to show you guys what it looked like to put highlighter in with your foundation. Um, but that's a, another trick that you can use, um, is putting highlighter in your foundation, and it gives you just a really pretty all-over glow. Okay. So, found it, or, um, cons um, Bronzer for your eyeshadow. I'm just using it on our powder brush, on our blending brush, and I'm just going to take it right inside my crease. What part of Missouri are you from? Yep. So what color um, have you used for the liquid lipstick? I was thinking about Stellar on the eyes. Okay. So, see how pretty that is? And it's just like, it's not too much. And I always think just a really pretty, um, simple eye with big mascara is so pretty. Superb and stately. I'll have to try that. Okay. Um, blush. A blush is also really pretty on your eyes, too. Um, and I'm waiting for the right color to come in. There's a really pretty color. Um, I'm hoping it will be here tomorrow. Anyway, so I'm going to use... Let's see. What color blush should I use? I'm going to use our pressed blush in the color seductive and I really love this color because it's like a rosy you gave stellar to your sister are you crazy do you not like it did you not like the color that's like my favorite okay and so I'm just gonna plot this right above my contour and I feel like blush is just like makes you look so awake and alive. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, highlighter. I'm going to use a really pretty, um, thanks. Yeah, I really like this brush. It's probably one of my favorites. I'm just going to use um, iridescent pressed powder, pressed highlighter, and I'm going to use it for my highlighter right above right here I like to make a circle 
like this instead of just going straight back. The other thing that you can do with this highlighter is take it on your finger and put it right here. It's kind of like a shimmer eyeshadow on your eye. And that just makes your eye pop. And likewise, we have, I have a, um, a really pretty pressed um, eyeshadow. This one right here. It's so pretty as a highlighter. Let me show you. I almost like it better than what I just used. You can see that it's even more so like shimmery. I don't know if that's the right word. So I'll put a little right there, a little right there. And then I'll take an right here. Okay. And then also I'm going to take on, this is a blush color, okay? And I'm just going to take a little bit of this and pop it in my crease to give me just a little bit of color. I love pink eyeshadow. It's probably my very favorite color to wear. All, all kinds of pink eyeshadow, even bright, bright, bright pink. Hi, Natasha from Wales. Welcome. See how pretty that is? That's just, that's really pretty. I'm kind of ended up going over the bronzer, but it gave it a pretty, um, um, ombre effect. And it would be pretty actually to put this underneath your eyes too, like. Okay. Okay. So. Now I'm gonna use eyeliner as lip liner. This is um, eyeliner in the color Purposeful. And it's really pretty. It's really pretty on the eyes too.
okay? And then I'll just take our lipstick in the color Well To Do, which is just a, like the perfect nude. This alone looks really washed out on my complexion, but when I mix it with the um, eyeliner on my lips, it looks really pretty. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, and then mascara. Um, I'm just gonna use our One Step Epic Mascara because, oh, thanks, Rachel. The One Step Epic Mascara because it's so simple and easy. It ends up being all I ever use. And it does a good job um, making those eyes look super big and luscious. So, I'm just gonna take and my trick to making sure that my mascara doesn't clump is I always coat the base first. Because it's I find that when my mascara starts to clump the most is when it gets when I've already put mascara on it and then it's starting to dry again. And so I always coat the um the base first. I need a mirror. And I always, always, always have a, I'm always getting mascara all along on my lid. I don't know about you guys, but I can never get away with getting mess, without getting mascara everywhere. And the trick that I learned is to hold a mirror down like this and it helps, it makes it so it's like you're almost closing your eyes all the way and it helps so you're not getting it everywhere so now that the base of my lashes are all coated now I'll go and I'll do the tops and I sweep it from behind so it gets the back too and this the brush on this mascara is really nice because it helps to um, separate your lashes really well. I know, uh, Cassandra, I do it. I get them so bad on my lid. I almost would rather do my mascara first because I end up ruining my, um, I end up ruining my, my eye, my eye shadow. Yeah, I do. Thank you, Cassandra. I do. Um, and you know what's so cool about it is, hi, Lisa. Um, I just recently took off my eyelash extensions. And can I tell you, those wrecked my eyelashes. Like, when I took my, when I got them taken off, or well, when they finished all falling out, I was like, 
beside myself because I had no eyelashes, none. It looked like even after I had mascara on, um, it looked like I didn't have any eyelashes. And the, um, the lash serum saved my life. They're still not back to what they used to be. They used to almost touch my um, eyebrows. I honestly don't know why I got extensions because they're my eyelashes are, brown, are are blonde and you can't see anything. You can't see that I have any eyelashes unless I have mascara on. That's why it was nice to be able to walk out of the house like that. But it, it did. They just wrecked my eyelashes. I've also been putting it on my eyebrows and it's been helping them grow because I don't I don't have any eyebrows. Yep. Thanks, Lisa. I had um I had them on for I bet eight months or so. And I think it and I started to get allergic to them too. My eyelids up here and down below started to get really, really dry. Yep. <laughs> I use a um a I think I think it's called a tinker tool to um get the hair off my face and I was using it right here and I cut into my brows. Yep. Use the lash serum for your brows too. Okay, and then a trick too, if you use too much um, um, powder to set your face and it looks a little dry, take your beauty blender. Okay, take your beauty blender and dampen it with um, setting spray and then just press it and that will help meld it all together. And it will make it look not so dry. I have the hardest time with my face looking dry if I use too much powder. Okay, and then you finish it off with some setting spray. And that's that. Simple, quick look, and you could have gotten away with like six products here and used it all interchangeably. So, so yeah, that's that. Thank you guys for watching. I would stay and chat a little bit longer, but my husband um, has to get to work and so I've got to take the babies. So Lisa for my lips. I just used purposeful eyeliner and um, Well-to-do lipstick super simple. Thanks Cassandra So yeah Super easy and well-to-do alone looks it's super washed out on me So if I use it with an eyeliner, it's, it make, gives it a little bit more color so yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you wanna get into my VIP group for deals and um, fun giveaways for the products, I'll link it down below um, as well as my website. Thanks you guys, I'll see you tomorrow.